hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new so in today's video i will be reviewing tls tunnel and pretty much walking you through the features of the application as it has been updated and guiding you on how you would set it up if this is something that you are interested in i'd highly suggest that you stick around until the end of the video let's get started so you can find this application on the google play store and if you want more information than what I'll be providing in this video, then you could visit the about section of the application. So once you've opened TLS Tunnel, you will be greeted with this interface right here. If you want, you could take the time out to read the information on the page. This is just what TLS is about and what it offers. You'd need to click on the tick at the top of the screen to proceed. So unfortunately, this is not an ad-free application. You are required to watch an ad to reconnect to servers. However, if you want to remove the ads, then you could simply pay for the pro version, which is $1.99 monthly. So if you don't want ads interfering, you could get the pro version. With that said, TLS Tunnel is a free and unlimited VPN. Now, as you can see from the home interface, there are servers and ports that you'd need to choose from. So as you are seeing now, there are multiple servers to choose from. Also, if you take a closer look, you'd see that each server guarantees you one hour of connection before you'd need to renew your access. The servers also show the amount of persons currently using and bars indicating whether the servers is almost full or rather it shows the how occupied a server is. You could also select the settings icon at the top right of the screen to add your own server. This would be the case if you created a server using a SSH website, etc. You can also add a password, which would mean that you'd be the only one able to use the server. Now moving on to connection method. So for the connection method, you could select default method custom method or DNS tunnel. The custom method would require you to use a payload or SNI or a proxy. If you aren't familiar with the custom method, then I suggest you stick with the default method as it is much easier to use. So the next thing I'm going to look at is settings, which is at the top right hand corner of the screen. All the features within the settings is pretty much self-explanatory for example, renewal notice will notify you when your access is almost up. So if you want to be notified when your access is almost up, you can leave this feature enabled. You can also enable dark mode or turn off auto reconnect. It is pretty much up to you and what you want to do. So one new feature that has been added to this application is app filter. So in order to use this feature, you'd simply need to enable it then you'd need to select the application that you don't want the VPN network going to. So this could be used to enhance your connection. Now at the top left of the screen, we have restore default icon. What that does is that it restores the original settings if it's a case where you imported a config or a payload. So from the on page you can see the login the log icon rather at the bottom and that keeps track of connections reconnections etc so you can delete the logs if you want it does not affect the application at all so as you can see there are five icons at the bottom of the screen which pretty much guides you through the application once you click on others you'd see tools such as payload generator and identification and below that you'd see some other options so now i'm going to be looking at ports and the ports are 80 and 443 and you could also go about creating your own port so this would be as a result of you using a ssh account so that's pretty much everything about tls now I'm going to connect TLS and do a speed test. So once you click on start, you'd be greeted with this connection request right here and you simply need to click on OK to move on. 
so it's going to be selecting servers and ports randomly for me because i did not select any server or port and then you would simply be greeted with that pop-up notification that you saw a while ago you simply click on ok so as you can see i currently have 53 minutes left on this server so now i'm going to open a web browser and test the speed four point six megabits per second and so on so that's the end of the review and i highly recommend you give tls a try if you haven't before if you found this video useful or if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe also please turn on your post notification so you'll be notified whenever i upload videos thank you guys so much for watching also, if you have any video suggestions, please post them in the comments below.